Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In these tutorials, I'm going to teach you how to create an XHTML document. This introduction will go over the things that you need to build an XHTML document and a few other things. So let's get straight into it. Note that all these links are available on my website and also the source code of any document that I create on screen. The first item we need is a text editor. A text editor creates clean code. What I mean clean code, it's not like Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word includes many other hidden text that you can't see that describes the text and all sorts of other things and we don't need it for HTML. It'll actually come up as an error and it won't show up properly. So what we want to use is some sort of clean source code editor and Notepad++ is what I'll be using for my tutorials. You also need a web browser. Go to mozilla.com where you can download Mozilla Firefox 3.5 for free. And after you download that, this is the file that we'll this is the browser that we will be using to test our XHTML. Once you have downloaded and installed Notepad++, you open it up and see it looks similar to Microsoft's Notepad, but it looks a lot cooler with a whole bunch more buttons. So what we want to do is start creating an, a, an XHTML file. The way we do this is we put in a data type declaration and I'm going to go over that right now. There are three types of doc type declarations. We're going to use transitional declarations the most, but let's go through them. The first one we have is a XHTML1 strict, which tells our which tells your browser that you're using a strict type of XHTML. The next one is transitional, where you're using kind of a loose form of XHTML. And the last one is the frame set, when you're using frames in your HTML document. So what we're going to use is the one in the middle, transitional. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to, pres I'm going to paste it into my new document. Now one thing that I want to do is change the language inside of Notepad++. One of the great things is that we have text highlighting. So in the language, go to the H and hit HTML. And that way we can see things a lot better. So now with this declaration, we want to start creating our HTML document. So the first line in an HTML document, other than the document type, is we type in a these braces the less than and greater than braces and within these braces we put our tag name so we're creating the first tag and the first tag of any HTML document is HTML once we type that we also want to type XML and S equals and we have a URL the XML and S is stands for XML namespace and you really don't have to worry about this right here. All you have to do is know how to type it. It's just prerequisites. It's just a thing that's in our way, so we have to just knock it down so we can finally get into the HTML code. So in those parentheses, I have to put http www.w3.org 1999/xhtml. It's just telling our HTML document, our XHTML document, what namespace we're using. Pretty much useless to us who just want to code a few things. So let's not worry about too much of what this all means other than in order to create a document we need to put that there so the browser understands what we're trying to do. So the next line of code I'm just going to return a few times to make it easy to read is put that less than greater than and then I want to put a slash there and put HTML. This is going to close our tag because we can't just leave things open and HTML once you've opened up something you have to close it so the opening tag is HTML it has an attribute which is this XMLNS and we have the closing tag which is the same tag name with a slash and that's exactly how you do it. One thing that I want to mention about tags is that tags all have to be lowercase. So me typing a capital H is not well and it's not good for HTML. It'll look at it as an error. So 
Keep that in mind, everything lowercase. The next part of the HTML document is we want to create a head. The head of an HTML document basically holds all the information about the HTML document. So just like before, we have to close it. Now that we have the head tag, we want to create a title for our HTML page. Every HTML page needs a title. So now that we have a title, we can put something in between these title tags. I'm just going to put hello. The body is where you will put your structure for your XHTML document. So just like before, we put the tag body and we close it body. The next step to this process is that we want to add something in the body. Well, we'll just put hello for now. We want to save this. And when we save it, we don't want to save it as XHTML. We just want to save it as HTML. So give it a name. I'm going to name mine hello. Why not? Dot HTML. And we can save it now. Now that we've done all this work, we finally want to see what we've created. So inside of Notepad++, we can simply go to Run, and we'll click on Run in Firefox. Firefox will open, and it'll show us what we created. We created a simple hello. And one other thing to note is that inside of the title, which is up here, we have the hello. That's the same title tag that we've used. So basically, we have an HTML document set up. And we're ready to pretty much code and put anything we'd like inside of our HTML document. So that was the introduction. And you can type even more inside of your body. You can type a whole book if you like. But for now, this is all we're going to do until the next time where we get a more in-depth look at XHTML. I hope you enjoyed it. And rate, subscribe, comment. Also, go to my website. Click on an ad or two to support YoDemo.